what is the KuCoin and how does it compare with PulseX? Since KuCoin is already in the market, does that mean it's going to compete with PulseX? And which one should you invest in for higher profits? In this video, we'll be looking into just that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello and welcome to AB Crypto. If you're new to our channel, just hit that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to receive any new video updates. You can also follow us on TikTok at underscore AB Crypto underscore. And if you want to read some more about today's topic, you can get the links down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Gone are the days when there were only a dozen or two crypto projects in the market and the world only knew about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Things have changed since then and for better or for worse, we have thousands of crypto projects out in the market at the moment. Some are doing absolutely splendid while some others not so much. Despite however great or bad the existing competition is giving a tough time for the new projects that are yet to be launched. And since investors have so many cryptocurrencies to choose from, it makes their job even more difficult to say the least. Both KuCoin and PulseX have their own goals and mission, but before we dive deeper into which project will do better than the other, it is first important to understand what KuCoin token is and what PulseX is. KuCoin with the ticker KCS was launched in the year 2017 and is the native token of KuCoin Exchange, an exchange famous for having a lenient KYC policy, thus drawing a large number of users, especially from regions where cryptocurrencies are banned. KCS is an ERC20 token that runs on Ethereum's network and likewise is supported on most Ethereum wallets. The total supply of KuCoin tokens is 200 million, but there is a planned buyback and burn which will end when the total supply reaches 100 million. While on the surface, there's nothing fascinating about the KuCoin token. However, over the years, it has become popular due to the growing demand for KuCoin exchange and the daily bonus which is given to the holders. The way the KCS daily bonus works is users need to hold a minimum of six KCS, which allows them to qualify for the daily bonus. And the bonus is derived from 50% of KuCoin's daily trading fee revenue. Since the current price of KCS is around $10, to qualify for the daily bonus reward, you'll need to invest at least $60. Obviously, the more you hold, the more bonus you get. But since the entry bar is so low, this is the very reason why the number of KCS holders has grown substantially over the years. So overall, not a bad deal at all. On the other hand, PulseX is entirely different from the KuCoin token. It is a fork of Uniswap and will act as a decentralized exchange on the Pulse chain network. Additionally, PulseX aims to be the world's largest yield farm, giving rewards and PLSX to liquidity providers whenever people swap one coin for the other. PulseX will be extremely efficient and will cost almost nothing. In fact, it will have the lowest fees among its competitors. Richard Hart, the founder of PulseX, has made it more attractive by announcing another token token will be created to further incentivize the liquidity providers, a bonus to the number of fees that they already earn. However, no one knows when this token will be released, but we do know it will be deflationary in nature. A DAO made up of PulseX holders will help to decide which trading pairs will receive this incentive and at what rates. And lastly, due to the burning tokenomics of PulseX, it will only become more rare as time passes. Now that we know what KuCoin and PulseX are, this brings us back to our main question. Which project should one invest in for better results? Well, there's no denying that both projects are great in their their own way. KuCoin has an entire crypto exchange to support it, and as more people start using cryptocurrencies, this will automatically help to raise the price of KuCoin. This is also because there are over 600 plus cryptocurrencies listed on KuCoin, allowing more people to sign up and use the platform as compared to other popular exchanges which offer fewer cryptocurrencies. And also, the fees on KuCoin exchange are very low, another reason more users would want to use it. Additionally, as the KuCoin token gets more rare, it will also increase in price. So for a user, not only is there an incentive of getting a deal daily bonus, but a chance of a price increase in the coming years. However, this is also where the problem with the KuCoin token begins because its practical use is tied to the KuCoin exchange and is solely linked to how popular it becomes. If the KuCoin exchange gets banned in a few countries, the number of users will decrease and thus its popularity. PulseX is a completely different story. While we don't know much about PulseX as it, it is still under development since it was able to raise almost a billion dollars in its sacrifice phase, which is amongst the highest in the crypto space, there is a good chance it will do well in the following years as it already has the much needed community and liquidity. Additionally, the number of projects on Pulse Chain will also help to determine how popular Pulse X becomes. And since 120 projects are already on their way to completion on Pulse Chain, we can say that we're at a very good start. Apart from a rock solid community, Pulse X also has the full support of Richard Hart, a somewhat controversial figure, but one who gets the job done. Therefore, it is most likely that both the Pulse X and KuCoin tokens will move in their separate directions as their success solely depends on different factors. This is not to say the competition between the two is minimized, but since PulseX is designed to solve some much needed challenges in the crypto sphere, it is therefore more likely that it will only get more popular as time passes. So what do you think? Are you bullish on PulseX or the KuCoin token? Do let us know why in the comment section down below. This brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you guys found this video resourceful and entertaining. And if you have any more information to add to improve to the content in this video, please do so down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you loved watching this video, send us those 
likes. We thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video.